Uh, I'm going to work on this some more tonight. Uh, I'll clean the carburetor for it. Put the shroud and all back on it. Uh, basically, I'm going to completely reassemble it and uh, start it. This is the one we did the valve job. Uh, for those of you that may not have seen those and have skipped straight to this one. Uh, this is the starter that uh, I made a video on of how to repair the starter. This is the starter. Um, I figure I'll just use that to start it instead of rewinding a uh, pull, a uh, 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 recall to put on the shroud. I'm uh, just going to put the shroud on it and uh, use the electric start to start it. <clears throat> the, uh, I'm uh, going to assemble this. I'm not going to make a carburetor cleaning video. Uh, this is the carburetor off of it as you've seen in the other video that's busted. Uh, this is the carburetor I'm going to clean and put on it. Anybody wants to see a um, carburetor cleaning video uh, message me comment let me know the uh, I am going to have to use some parts out of this one on this one uh, as you can see the choke lever is broke off uh, so I'm just going to pull the whole shaft out of this one and the shaft out of the one that was on the engine I'm just going to change that shaft and put it in here where I'll have a choke. But anyway, yeah. Uh, anybody needs a, a how-to or a tutorial or whatever on cleaning the carburetor, uh, leave a comment. Uh, private message, whatever. All right, guys. Uh, it's all back together. Well, close enough to being together that we can start it here on the bench. Um, I uh, pulled the governor arm off of the engine over here. Uh, the red one that I showed in a, another video. Because this one was missing the top of this that was all bent up I just straightened it back out and this is the same one that was off of the engine the carburetor I cleaned it I changed the choke arm uh, like earlier the carburetor on this one was busted so I pulled a couple of parts out of another old carburetor and put in this one the choke is, uh, it chokes, but it's not exactly like it's supposed to. Um, it'll work. Uh, it'll work fine. Um, but uh, it is a little bit different. Uh, but there's no problems with the choke. Uh, it'll work fine. It's just a little different. Uh, I put a new fuel line on it. Uh, this is just a fuel tank that was on I think it, it it came off of one of these but it was a six horse uh, this is a seven um, it was just one I had laying in a bin of some parts um, there is no recall we would be starting it with the uh, electric starter that I did in an earlier video show you how to clean the starter and re-grease them and fix a uh, a bad switch um, uh, that's about it uh, I didn't clean anything uh, this engine after you test run it if you want to you can clean it or you can clean them usually I will media blast I will sand blast the heads if I've got the whole block stripped down, I will cover up 
the bushings and the side covers where the crankshaft goes and uh, I will uh, sandblast the the, how, the the blocks and get them clean and all of the, the stuff you know brackets and the cover and stuff like that uh, if a customer wants them done they want them to look nice uh, other than this engine is kind of for training purposes <laughs> That's the reason I do not have a, a recoil starter on it. I have some. Uh, I will probably put one on it. But uh, for right now, we're just going to use the electric start. Uh, but yeah, uh, I have started it already. I have not tuned on it. Uh, when I clean the carburetors, I have settings that I set the carburetor to just to start them. They do run really rich. Uh, you will possibly see uh, flood smoke is what I call it, but it's gas smoke, it's black. Um, I started it up just to see if it run. I let it run for maybe five seconds. And uh, I just shut it back off because it started filling the garage up with, with smoke. It smells like gas in here now. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're just gonna start it up. Uh, engine sounds really good I did change the exhaust uh, the other one was all just blown out um, if I have it that was the one off of it there's if I can get it at the right angle you can actually see see all the way through it <laughs> um, I did change the exhaust uh, it sounds really good um, I did not see or do not smell any oil smoke so I guess the uh, cylinder did not need to be honed in it um, all that I can guess um, what happened to this engine is this governor arm vibration make these little screws come loose uh, this arm fell off and then they just hooked this rod over to here to run it and when they did that it was uh the governor was not set correctly and uh, it broke that retainer and dropped the valve and quit running uh, i don't guess it ran long enough to hurt anything i did not hear any clicks or rattles or taps or anything like that <clears throat> But uh, we'll start it up. I'm just going to let it run for a second. Uh, and then I'll adjust the carburetor. And it shakes everything off of the table. So I really can't. If you hear anything falling, you'll know what it is. <laughs> but, uh, but I'll just start it up and let you see it and hear it. And uh, I'll uh, tune the carburetor another day if anybody wants to see it. And we'll start it up out in the yard where we can let it sit and run. All right, guys. Yeah, there's a kill switch right here. I had to work the throttle and I just shut it off because uh, a big box fell off of that side of the table. Uh, and a grinding wheel fell off over here. But yeah, it's a solid sounding engine. This engine was froze up. Uh, it, uh, I really didn't think there was gonna be, it was gonna be any good or I kind of expected some kind of knock or rattle or something in it but uh there's not it sounds great uh, but yeah uh, this was just to show that you can free up a stuck engine uh, with just a little bit of work and make them run really nice all right any questions uh comment subscribe rate it uh let me a message if there's anything you want to see later